just me again, but you're wondering how I got here. Yeah, where's Keynes again? Oh yeah, right down the street. I'm upset. 50,000 on my head is disrespect. Can't go 50 50 with no hope. I usually like when you say where the bird is the word, but that works. <laughs> um, can I have a Caniac combo with um, extra fries instead of the coleslaw? What's your drink on that? Um, high sea fruit punch, and can you make sure everything is all crispy for me? What do you want, my you? child? I want the box combo. Okay, and then can I have the box combo? With an extra toast instead of the box. So what's your drink on it? What sweet, drink? Sweet tea. Sweet tea, and then can I have an extra toast instead of coleslaw? All right. Hey guys, it's me, Malia again. Welcome back to my channel, and that's the tea. <laughs> Bay is on camera. He wishes he was here. Guess what I did wrong? I ordered the same thing that I order for both of us for myself. Like I'm not gonna eat this all at all. Yeah, but we're gonna do an unboxing, so I'll talk to you later. Love you, Kay. What did we get? I got way too much freaking food for one person. I got two toasts. Because Same. You get coleslaw, you're Cheers. Psycho. <laughs> yeah, literally, if you get coleslaw, something's wrong with you. you my mom gets coleslaw. Sorry, mom. Okay. I didn't approve of this message. Where's my ketchup? Did you really try to put my ketchup away? I love my ketchup with my fries and my cane sauce. I've never had the honey mustard though. Is it fire? Oh, Wait, why are you already eating without me? I'm really hungry. <laughs> please, please try the honey mustard. Okay, well, don't try the ketchup before the honey must. Mmm. The fries are so fire though. Especially when they make them crispy. Alright, we'll see how this goes. <clears throat> First, First impressions video. We <laughs> <laughs> said the same exact thing. Oh, shoot. It's good. Drip, drip. Mmm. She's kind of thick. I'm not mad at it. It's not a cane sauce, but it's pretty bomb. Mm hmm It's pretty fine. I didn't even know they had multiple sauces. Sometimes you need a break from the cane sauce, though, so you can get a little dippy in one. A little dippy in the other. A little dip, dip in the other. Came through dipping. Dip, dip. Well, let's Welcome pick that to up. our first one, wedges. Oh, I know. I've never had one of these before. That we've been trying to do for two months. Are these even popular still? I watched one yesterday. Oh, I'm good. I don't know if I'm doing it right though. And I don't even know what it means. Like, I don't really think there's rules. Hmm. So you just eat and talk about stuff? Basically. Okay. So, what's your thoughts on Triple X and his passing? Because <clears throat> I've heard a lot of speculations. My thoughts? I don't know if I want to like. They say what I actually think and then like No, like, oh, say what you actually think I'm offended I think it was like hella sad and tragic mm -hmm. like despite what he has done like he was actually trying you know to like improve upon himself agreeable, agreeable I mean his last tweet was that he was trying to do a charity I feel like there's a lot of people and now out Ski, there. Ski is doing the charity for him oh really? yeah, yeah that's what's up there's a lot of people that feel like, oh, that's what he deserves. Like, if you do something, you deserve to die. But, but no one deserves to go out that way anyway. So get exactly. shot, like, unexpectedly. Exactly. Like, it's kind of some He was stuff. so young, and he had his whole life to live, you know? His yeah. music video came out. What do you think about that? That was a little crazy. That's, like, one of my favorite songs on the album, actually. He was, like, in the casket in the video. Mm. It was crazy. And he was fighting himself the whole video. Man, I don't know. I think he truly was depressed. Oh yeah, for sure. And that's what kind of led to his demise, but... And to Susie with the weather. <laughs> Cue Susie. But do you feel like Drake killed him? Like people um, are saying? They have three suspects now that they say did it. They like caught like all three people. It was multiple people. It was three people. It was a setup, huh? And they already went to court and everything. Wow. If you're doing your thing and you make it, people are like, oh, you forget about where you're from, da 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 But people that try to come back to where they're from and give back, this is what happens. Who, who died the other day, too? Some guy died on the same day in his hometown in Atlanta. Some other rapper. Domo? Domo? Domo, I've seen that. The whole squad eats. 
The whole squad eats, literally. Chicken strips. I'm low key already full. Stop. If you think about it, you just have to keep going. Alright. I thought that's what you say when you're working out, but not eating. I don't even say that when I work out. Okay, say we both went viral, right? Mm -hmm. And our exes watched this video. What do you want to say to them? I don't, I feel like I don't even have, I feel like even now, I don't have anything to say. I know my ex is miserable. <laughs> <laughs> and he like peeps all my shit and he's like, man, she's bad. <laughs> he's miserable without you? I already know he is. But my ex is a different story. Cause my ex literally was in another relationship like the next day. Mm -hmm. And they've been together this whole time. He was like totally a square. Literally? Now he's like, I'll fight him and go, pull up. Oh no. Pull up. On folks. Da -da 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 -da. So he may not think he's miserable, but truly he is. Truly when we were originally planning this, we were gonna talk about how men ain't shit basically. This is but true. now I don't really have anything to say. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> me too. I love Bay. Me, a Patricio. It's a me, a Patricio. Mm -hmm. I forgot what my name was. Was it Fabio? Fabio. Oh no. Oh my god. So me and Malia know each other from work. This is true. Why did we not talk about that? I know. I'm Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't talk about anyone. <laughs> I'm Kobe. Hi. Me and Malia. <laughs> but me and Malia know each other from work. Absolutely love her. She makes my days go by a lot faster. It's like, you know that coworker where you go to work and you're like, Yes. That's how it is. Or when they're there, you're like, oh, great. Now my day is going to like four no, hours. So all we do, like, literally, we'll see each other in different aisles and we'll be like, hey. Hit them folks. Hit them folks. Hey. And then we always get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, they're always like, blossom. <laughs> you two need to spread out. When we see clients, we're like, hey, can I help you find anything today? <laughs> and they're like, nope. And they're like, so then this bitch. <laughs> We have our little headsets on. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say this. We have our little headsets on, we just talk shit about people. Unless you work with us and you're watching this, then click on now. <laughs> Exit this video. But first, give this thumbs up. You. <laughs> this yeah, we're gonna tip. go in on everybody we work with. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Patricia, you're a fucking slut. <laughs> I'm not do this anymore. Mom, come pick me up. Your edges look so good. Really? Mm -hmm. Give me a full rotation. <laughs> 360 rotation? Exist. What shows do you like to watch? Um, anything with killing. Oh, fuck! That's funny. No, I, I watched, watched like Gangland today. Really? Snoop Dogg was on it. And his son was on it? <laughs> I feel like we're so slow right now. Like we're just like, okay, because what do I say full. next? Oh my god! <laughs> Two seconds ago, your plate looked like mine. Now your plate looks like this. I was going on maximum overdrive. I have so much left. Do you, you want to get that one? one? No, I will throw up on you. Um, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> so, we're not going to name the place that we work because we like money and we don't want to get fired. I like my job. So this topic is the main topic I wanted to talk about. I feel like there's been a lot of speculation, rumors, just people talking about it. And people think that when it comes to makeup stores, I'm not saying my opinion yet, but this is this is the tea. People say that if you purchase, okay, let's say I purchased a palette, right? I went home, licked it, farted on it, you know, swatched it a couple took times. Took a little nib. Took a little nib, you know, took a little bite out of the pan. And then it was, was the like, chocolate palette. It was I the chocolate palette. For sure. And then I was like, you know what? I don't want this. Even though I knew exactly what it looked like when I bought it. Now when I get it home, for some reason, I just don't want it anymore. So we return you it. You realize you're poor and you shouldn't have bought it. <laughs> so we return it without a receipt, of course. <laughs> Always. Make a scene. Make a scene. We return it. Does it get put back on the shelf or no? I'm going to let Kobe say her opinion on it. We have both been cashiers at the same retail place, but I was at an entirely different store when I was a cashier. 
now I have a different position. So at this specific store, I've never been a cashier, so I don't know how it goes. And I feel like every store is really, different. I don't really cashier like that anymore. Okay, but it also has changed because I've almost been there a full year, like yeah. this month, July. Mm -hmm. Um, so the policy has changed, and I don't. I actually don't know if it's because of what people have been saying. At first, like, if someone returns something, our job is to open it up and look at it and see if it's been noticeably used. And if you can just, like, spare it, it'll go back on the shelf. If you're like, oh, it doesn't look that used, you can put it back. So, but, like a swatch would if it, be put back. If it was a swatch, you could just rub it down with alcohol real quick and put it back. Okay, what if it was, like like it looks moist or something or or like there was dust all over or something would you put that back or would you just clean it it honestly depends on the cashier because you kind of have to use your best judgment so it really is upon you so if really, you see yeah. something that looks horrible and you say okay i want this to go back it's going to go back in there not going to take a second look pretty much so it's not like an in-depth search no at that store but now now um no matter if they've used it, if they swatched it or anything, it automatically goes back to the retailer. Like, you can't put it back on the shelf now. Wow. Yeah. But that's like a kind of new thing. <clears throat> like, See, that's a totally different point of view for me. But the store that I was at was in an entirely different state. It was in an entirely different state. Well, maybe the policy has changed there too, though, now. I don't know. But this was like... Okay, I worked at this store in 2015, oh, so ago. this was like back in the Dizzy, you know, first action okay. makeup job that I have, you know, I was nine and a half years old, and for us, it was like, even if someone said, like, especially when it comes to like mascara or something, even if someone said, I did not use it, we still didn't put it back on the shelf. Really? Yeah, because they can obviously lie, because sometimes people will say they didn't use something because they think it like if you're asking, oh, did you use it? And then they say yes, they think, oh, well, we can't return it. Oh, right, right, right. So they yeah, always say no. Before. Like they'll say, no, I didn't use it. And then you open it and you can tell like it's clearly been used. But mascara is one of, like mascara, lip gloss, stuff like that is hard to tell if you used it right, or not. Right, right. So they always put it, they always sent it back to the retailer, regardless if they said they used it or not. And I would get mad because I would be the one having to like destroy stuff yeah, that clearly was never used. Right. So for me, it was a totally different point of view. So I truly think that every single store is different, but you're it also, saying now that it's different. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of depends on the um, vendors too. Because if a vendor will see that you're going to damage something, yeah, they can be like, oh, I can just clean this up real quick. Because like they don't want to lose. They don't know their sales. numbers or whatever. Yeah, like the opportunity for sales. Right. But well, me too because of how I am. I'm not a vendor, but I'm in partnership with a brand. I feel like I could put things back, or I could say, "Oh, you know what? I'll just use this as a tester, or I'll just throw it away." And they kind of like give me that leeway to say yes or no. Usually, though, if I think something's been used. Um, and it's not something that is like unsanitary. So let's say it's like a lotion, right? Something that's in like a tube and you push it out. It's the whole bottle's not contaminated now because somebody pushed out a little bit of it or something like that. That I won't put it back because now there's less product, but I'll turn it into a tester for me to use on other people. Like, oh, do you want to try this lotion? So I'll use that as a tester. But if it's something that's like a pot, something that you dip into, I never trust that kind of stuff. I always throw it away. But I think it just depends on the better judgment, like you said. Like it yeah, just depends I on the person. Other, other I don't know how it is at other stores, but at our store, it's kind of like just use your best judgment. Basil keep throwing shade right now. Why? Cause I was like, I'm vlogging right now, and then he's like, What do you mean? He was confused, and I was like, My friend has a YouTube channel, and she asked me if I want to vlog. And I said, you bet, I, you bet your sweet ass. I said, so do a lot of people. But is she successful with it, though? Not yet. You're you have to get, like, 12 views on this video, but it's okay. But it's okay. Because I'm everyone, still winning. You're like, don't talk to me. I'm in the grocery store. <laughs> Please don't talk to me. I'm one beat. <laughs> I'm all, they're all, excuse me, miss. And I'm like, do you want my autograph? And they're like, no, I, you're just in my way. And I'm like, 
My ex used to tell me that I look like Mr. Clean. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us for dinner time. We'll see you on the next one, pores. Hey, sisters. <laughs> Hi, sisters. That's how we should be as soon as the video comes on. Hi, sisters. I'm so ready for this Drake album to drop. Like, we got about an hour and a half left. Oh, shoot. What time is it? I'm upset. <laughs> I thought 45 minutes would be 9.45. Someone put something Drake on their story. Ah, it's out! Say <laughs> that Wait, let me play it. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on. So Stop! We're going home. <laughs> it's out. It's already out? It's already out? I forgot it was Eastern time. <laughs> Streets is done. Ooh. 